Can you name the objects that are present in our solar system? Yes, of course. Objects present in our solar system are the sun, its eight planets, and their moons. What else do you think is present in our solar system? Just empty space, right? Hmm. Look at these things. They're not planets, moons, or the sun. What do you think these are? That's a star. A glowing star, in fact. This one is a rock. And this one is a shooting star. You might be surprised to know that these are not stars or planets. These are some of the natural satellites present in our solar system. Natural satellites are naturally existing objects in space that revolve around a bigger object. Planets and their moons are satellites. But there are many other satellites in space. The images you saw were of a comet, an asteroid, and a meteor. Now let's take a look at natural satellites other than the planets and their moons. First, let's talk about comets. Comets are objects that orbit around the Sun in an elliptical or oval path. Comets are also known as a hairy star. Oh, so a comet is a star with hair, right? No, a comet is not a star and it doesn't have hair. Comets are balls of dust and ice. Scientists often call them dusty snowballs. Or maybe snowy dust balls. <laughs> The solid or inner part of the comet is called its nucleus. When the comet comes close to the sun, while revolving around it, the ice in the nucleus starts melting due to the heat. The melting of this ice causes an atmosphere to appear around the comet. This atmosphere is called the coma. As the comet travels, its coma is pushed into the shape of a tail. No matter what the direction of the comet is, its tail is always pointed away from the sun. Due to the reflection of sunlight, the coma and the tail glow, so we can see it from Earth. That explains why it is called a hairy star. The most famous comet is the Halley's Comet that comes close to the sun once every 75 years. The last time it appeared was in 1986 and it will next appear in 2061. How old will you be by then? Wow, I'll be so much older by then. Moving on, do you know that there is a wide gap between the fourth planet Mars and the fifth planet Jupiter? In this gap, there is a belt of rock-like objects scattered around. These rock-like objects are called asteroids. Asteroids are mostly found in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, but are generally found throughout the solar system. Asteroids are also made up of rocks, metals, and minerals. The size of asteroids may vary from a few feet to 1,000 kilometers. The largest asteroid ever discovered is called Ceres. It is thought that billions of years ago, an asteroid had hit Mexico, resulting in the extinction of dinosaurs. Some small stray pieces of rocks entered the Earth's atmosphere from the asteroid belt due to the Earth's gravity. These stray asteroids are known as meteors. These rocks burn in the Earth's atmosphere before hitting the Earth's surface. A flash of light appears in the sky when these rocks burn. This flash of light is often known as a shooting star or a falling star. So a shooting star is also not a star? 
Yes, Spikey, a shooting or falling star is not a star, but a piece of rock and dust. Let's do a quick exercise. Can you list any two differences between asteroids and comets? Asteroids are made up of metal, rocks, and minerals, whereas comets are made up of dust and ice. Asteroids are found throughout the solar system. Most of the asteroids orbit around the Sun in an asteroid belt, between the planets Mars and Jupiter. Comets, on the other hand, orbit around the Sun in an elliptical orbit. Let's summarize what we have learned today. Comets, asteroids, and meteors are natural satellites existing in our solar system. Comets are dusty snowballs that orbit around the Sun in an elliptical orbit. A comet has a nucleus, a coma, and a tail. Asteroids are bodies made up of rocks and metals that are present in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Meteors are stray asteroids that enter the Earth's atmosphere and burn due to friction. This produces a flash of light that we call a shooting star.